It was in the fall of 2011 when two sisters, Savannah and Kelsey Webster, along with their parents, moved to a new city. The girls quickly adapted, enrolled in school, made new friends, and one of them, Essa Ricker, became their best friend. On the evening of October 15, the three girls decided to take a walk around the city and take some picturesque photos. At some point, they found themselves at a railroad crossing and saw an approaching freight train. After the train passed by, Savannah posted an emotional message on Facebook, saying, standing next to a train is so cool. However, the text message didn't convey the emotions as vividly as a selfie taken beside the passing train. You could see from the girls' faces that they were truly excited. Unbeknownst to them, another train was approaching on the adjacent tracks from the opposite direction, as its lights can be seen in the corner of the frame. To better understand the situation, let's examine the location of the girls and the trains. The girls were standing at a railroad crossing between two sets of tracks, a narrow area just over a meter wide. The first train was moving towards the girls and was within their line of sight. They took a selfie as it passed, standing very close to the train. You could see their hair blowing in the wind generated by the passing cars. At the same time, Another train was approaching on the adjacent tracks in the direction of the girls, but they were so engrossed in their photo shoot that they didn't notice it. Upon seeing people on the tracks, the engineer desperately sounded the horn, but none of the girls moved. Apparently, the noise and the rumble of the passing train drowned out the second train's horn, and the girls didn't see or hear it. Realizing the gravity of the situation, the engineer made the only correct decision in such a case, to use emergency braking. However, it would take the train over a kilometer to come to a complete stop. The massive machine was rapidly approaching the unaware girls. The engineer and his assistant watched the girls for about 12 seconds, after which the train was level with them, and the trio disappeared from their view. After the train came to a stop, the engineer and his assistant rushed to the crossing. What they found was a horrific scene. All three girls were lying on the ground, severely injured. It was clear that two of them were already dead, while the third, Savannah, was still showing signs of life. Though critically injured, Savannah was airlifted to a medical center and her condition was assessed as critical. She was placed in a medically induced coma, underwent several surgeries, and was connected to life support equipment. Despite the efforts of the medical team, they stated that she wouldn't be able to recover due to the severity of her injuries, including internal bleeding, multiple fractures, and a serious head injury. Upon learning that Savannah would never return to her previous life, her parents made the heart-wrenching decision to disconnect her from life support. Following the tragic loss of three lives, an investigation was launched and detectives first spoke with the train engineers. The first engineer stated that the girls were shouting and waving their hands when the train passed them. The second train's crew, consisting of engineer John Anderson and his assistant Michael Anderson, claimed they did everything in their power to get the girls' attention and stop the train. They saw the girls on the tracks and helplessly witnessed the unfolding tragedy. It's worth noting that they were deeply affected by these events and suffered serious psychological trauma. They took some time to recover and return to work as they continued to feel guilt for the girls' deaths. Both of them had children of their own, which made the tragedy even more emotionally challenging. The incident was officially ruled as an accident and no charges were filed against either train engineer. 
Despite the investigation, law enforcement officials admitted that they would never be able to fully understand the details of what happened that day. Several versions of the events were considered, such as strong air currents between the trains causing the girls to lose their balance and fall under the wheels. Another version suggested that the powerful airflow from the second train might have thrown the girls onto the adjacent train. Yet another theory was that the girls might have noticed the second train at the very last moment and attempted to leave the crossing, but it was too late and they were struck by the train. The police stated that at least one of the girls was hit by both trains. This tragedy brought immense sorrow not only to the families of the deceased, but also to the train engineers, who unintentionally became witnesses to the horrific events. A memorial was later established at the scene to remember the girls who lost their lives, taking that photo that became their last. For all of us, this story should serve as a reminder to stay away from railroad tracks and trains. They are areas of extreme danger, not places for entertainment. Avoid foolish risks and follow basic safety rules if you don't want to become the subject of the next tragic video.